is Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a crafting video and I'm really excited to show you what I've learned and how to do this. Have you ever wanted to laminate something and then have it cut out on your Cricut? That's what I wanted to do. And I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and there was a lot of intricate details or multiple step processes to do this. And I just didn't want to do that. So I did find a way to do this. And I, if I could give credit to the person that I found this on, I believe it was actually on TikTok. Um, I would totally give them credit. I just can't remember their name. So I'm definitely not the first person to do this, but I wanted to share with my audience how I ended up doing this. Okay. So what you can do is don't laminate. Um, this is like a double side laminate that I use in my lamination machine and then forgot that Cricut will not be able to read those lines now. So what you're going to do instead is you are going to use a single sided laminating sheet. And the one I use is the Scotch single sided laminating sheets. Now these will be linked in my Amazon storefront down below. So if you wanna get the exact same ones that I'm gonna use in this video today, then you can go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. So for me, I like to make busy books and it's way easier if Cricut can just cut out the shapes for me because I'm not a great cutter. Um, and no matter what, no one's gonna do it as good as a machine, right? So I really wanted to be able to make my busy books in a quick fashion manner. And so I'm gonna show you exactly what I do today. Okay, so my page is all printed out and ready to go. And I also do recommend printing this on cardstock if you are selling it to somebody because it's better quality. For today, it's fine, I'm just gonna use this. The laminate will make it a little bit firmer too. But here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your Scotch laminate single-sided paper and you are going to measure it out and cut it out so it goes um, in between those black lines. You don't want it to touch the black lines because if you do, Cricut won't, your Cricut machine won't be able to read it. So we are going to measure all around and I'm gonna cut out this sheet, this laminating sheet to go on top of that. I also like to make sure that I'm doing it on this creased side because they give you like a pre lift place. So I like to do it and make sure I'm doing it there. So I'm going to use these grid lines to help me So now I've measured it up and my laminating, now that I've measured it, like my laminating paper will now fit in between those black lines. So I just like to peel slowly. And that is why I like to start with that little peel edge, if you can see. So now my laminate is already down and then I can slowly take this part and work my way down as I go. I need to cut this part with my scissors. Okay, now that I have my laminate on, I'm ready to send it to my Cricut. Did you see how Cricut has recognized it now because it was able to read around those black lines. Now, yeah, I did get a bubble there. So be super careful when you're doing that lemonade machine. Go nice and slow. Okay, now that Cricut has done its job, you can go ahead and peel off the pieces. That one I got excited and I already peeled it off, but there you go, it's laminated. Now again, I would use cardstock paper 
because the regular paper is a little bit flimsy, but it's still laminated. Good to go. So cute. Okay. So now I'm ready for the bottom part of my busy book. So I went ahead and I laminated this sheet and I went ahead and put all the Velcro pieces on there ready to go. And now I just have to Velcro my laminated sheets. Then once you have your pieces laminated or Velcroed, then you can go ahead and start sticking them to your paper and give them to the kiddo in your life so they can start playing. Oh my gosh, super, super cute. So I really hope this video was helpful for you. Everything that I use will be linked down below in my Amazon storefront if you are interested in purchasing the things that I used. You get your cute little laminated sheet for your busy books or whatever it is that you're creating, but that's how you can laminate using your Cricut machine. I highly recommend it. I really like it. Um, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely comment down below if it was helpful or if you have any questions. And I hope you consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this and business and teaching. Have a great rest of your day. See you next time.